Next we'll take a look at an exterior scene using V-Ray RT. This exterior scene I'm going to use is from the Evermotion Arc Exteriors collection. This one is from volume 3 and it's scene number 5. This one is a little older and the V-Ray version it was done with is a little older and we'll just simply tell it to update. Going to the render dialog, uh, one thing we might want to check also is the noise threshold because that's one thing that changed in the very early versions of V-Ray. Standard settings now is 0.01 and less if you need to bring it down. Uh, not that it's going to matter with RT. Going back to common, we'll set, set the active shade to V-Ray RT. Here's a quick look at what the uh, Evermotion Arc Exteriors look like. There's about uh, a dozen volumes or so, and each one has a mix of commercial and residential exteriors, and they're all ready to go. So I'm using one of these scenes. Again, it's just straight off the CD, and we're taking a look at the, um, the scene as, as a place to sort of travel around. So here's what models are included with this collection. And again, when you open the scene up, you not only learn V-Ray, you get all the trees, bushes, everything else that you can use in your own scenes, as well as the materials, uh, backdrops, and uh, other ideas. So this scene is sort of a commercial building. Um, a lot of the scene geometry is set to display as box. You can see these boxes out here, and it's sort of a simple shape. So I'll uh, select all with Control A and then we'll just go to the display tab and uh, check that and sure enough display is box so we'll uncheck that and everything becomes visible by the way my video card today is a quadro fx 4600 that's what i'm using for my interactive shaded view all right so bringing that view down here we can see what our scene looks like let's uh go ahead and shift this view to top and wireframe And I'll deselect all, and then this view will become a perspective view. Uh, we'll start off by looking through the same camera as here, and then we'll switch this view to a perspective view so that it's ready to go into active shade mode. And then here we'll, we'll switch this to a front view. So now this view goes to active shade mode. I still have all of my assisting machines working, so this is going uh, pretty fast. If you're ever wondering why it's taking a little bit of time, you can go uh, bring up the V-Ray RT dialog and you can see what's taking time. So the texture maps have to load and there's a little bit of work to be done before it's ready to go. Once you're in, you're in though. So here's my view and uh, I can uh, interact with this pretty rapidly. Again, I'm just sort of flying my camera in hitting the right bracket key to speed up my step size so that I move a little faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a little more like it. And uh, that's the interactivity. Well, V-Ray has some new features since this has come out, and we're going to explore them now with the scene. So in my top view here, I'm going to go in and delete these texture planes that are being used to create the backdrop. So uh, let's see, if I'm in the top view, we'll just go to the uh, back view maybe real quickly to select these other pieces. And we'll switch this to wireframe also. And uh, this is the existing sunlight, um, and this is just a standard uh, direct direct light that's being used in Max. Um, it's got a tan color, it's got a multiplier of 1.1. We're going to go ahead and delete that and we're going to switch over to the V-Ray Sun and Sky system. I can uh, create a Sun and Sky system by going to Create, Lights, V-Ray, and V-Ray Sun. And we'll just start out by just shining this generally on the front of the building. And we get asked, do we want to automatically add a V-Ray Sky environment map? Yes, we do. So we have both an environment map and a sunlight, and both of those are active. So we need to bring our sunlight target down. So it's pointing at the building. 
and you'll notice that the scene is really blown out. Uh, that's because suns are very bright things. A lot of people go in and take the intensity down to 1 100th one or something like that. But what I'd like to show you is that we can use a V-Ray camera, and it has a built-in um, physical effect to handle this very intensely bright scene. So if we switch this view now to the new physical camera I just created, we'll see the sky and it'll also adjust for the brightness. So in this view here I need to select my uh, camera target and then we'll just point that down at the building. And now as I move my sun around you can see the sky change. When the sun is low in the sky of course we get a very orange effect and when it's high overhead we get a a bright sunny day. We'll continue this in the next movie and we'll show a daylight analysis.